Okay, imagine the excitement of playing with the Dallas Symphony Orchestra. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, then imagine doing it at 11 years old. That is what the oh-so-talented Victoria Hahn has on her calendar this week. She won the Lynn Harrell Concert Concerto Competition in April. The $5,000 grand prize came with a chance to play with the DSO as well as the Greater Dallas Youth Orchestra. And we are so happy to get to welcome Victoria to Midday today. Hi there, it's good to see you. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, you must be so excited. You know, I used to play the piano. Uh, I used to play for weddings, but how long have you been playing piano? Um, almost seven years. I've been playing since I was four and a half years old. Okay, so is this something that, did you just have a piano at home? Do you have older siblings or were your parents like, okay, Victoria is going to be an awesome pianist. We're going to buy a piano for her at age <laughs> three or four. Um, no, I don't have any siblings. I'm a single child and, um, I decided I want, I decided I wanted to, um, try the piano because I used to hear the piano at my church and I thought the sound sounded so like magnificent and grand and I just fell in love with it. Now, I also love the sound of a piano. What is it that you love about it? If you could describe how it makes you feel, what would you say? Um, how the piano has this ability to sound angry or mad, but also like happy and sad too. And like, I use that to my advantage a lot because I can put all my emotions into it. And that's I, the best part of hearing it. Yes, I totally agree. It is a very versatile instrument and that is very wise of you. Um, what does it mean? I want to talk about this performance because this is so cool. What does it mean for you? to be able to perform with the Dallas Symphony Orchestra? Um, it means to me like a really big accomplishment in my musical path because it proves to me that although I did beat a lot of kids older than me, it told me that I had a sound that could be mature enough to surpass them. And so tell us how long you practice, maybe every day or every week, and then what do you plan on playing with the DSO? Um, it kind of varies. Like if I have a concert or competition coming up, it's like four hours and up. But if it's just like a regular day, it's probably like three hours and less. And um, this Friday, I'll be playing Schumann's Piano Concerto, the whole concerto. Okay, that is a lot of hours. I am glad that you told people how long it takes and how much work it takes to be able to do what you do. Um, what else do you do, Victoria, when you're not playing the piano? Like, what do you like to do, other hobbies, or if you ever get to take a break? Um, I like to spend a lot of time with my family, and then I like doing track at school, running and doing stuff like that, and then like reading books and dancing. Okay, just like regular 11-year-old things. Yeah. I love it. Um, and what are your plans for the future? Do you plan to be a professional musician? Well, that's one of the options. It's, I'm still very young. <laughs> like, I don't really have my path ahead of me. You know what, girl? Go with the flow. I always used to say I want to be a doctor or a ballet dancer or something. I mean, look, neither of those things happen. So, hey, go with the flow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was so nice to get to talk to you. Thank you for being with us. And by the way, y'all at home, Victoria will be featured again with the DSO Friday night at 730 at the Meyerson Symphony Center in Dallas. For tickets, you can go to DallasSymphony.org. What a great kid.